Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. Welcome to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Anyway, so now begins probably the where the tournament gets interesting because Michigan won their first game. Yay! They won their first game. It's all good in the hood. They won their first tournament game. That's fine. Everyone, listen up. I have a proposal. We are now building our forces. Oh, yeah, they in won order their to first tournament against game. The Imperial That's Army. good. But it wouldn't be smart. They won their first game. The they looked the good. They. Had trouble at times, but they the eventually rebounded we nicely. Also combined forces with the Knights of Seros. Therefore, I suggest that we operate under a new symbol. That's why I've prepared this. You may recognize it mm. as the Crest of Flames, which resides in yeah, the, I knew, so that's, the um... Phantom Crest that has reappeared after more than a thousand years. We're attempting our own miracle, so it's hey, a anyway. new symbol for us. So, until we welcome the dawn of a new age in Fodlan. Let's fight to the very end, as one, under the symbol of the Crest of Flames. Impressive, Claude. Forget restoring the monastery. You've somehow roped everyone into fighting back against the Empire. If you recall, I never technically asked anyone to join us. If anything, we have Teach's achievements to thank. Now that you mention it, I guess I should express my gratitude. Hey, friend. So this mm. is where you've been. Without you, the Knights never would have joined our cause. Anyway, so yeah, Michigan won their game. They rebounded nicely and whatnot. Just leave it to me, Teach. Mm. When this fight is over, I plan to see all of my dreams come to fruition. And yours mm. as well. Mm. Well, for example, to bust open Fodlin's throat. There's a massive fortress there which is responsible for protecting the eastern border of the Alliance. I like to think of it as a lid on a bottle. Mm. The people of Fodlan only know a small part of the world. Their prejudices are born Any, because anyway. they don't know what lies beyond their borders. And the opposite is true, too. Those outside of Fodlan don't know about this place. So as I, as I was saying like earlier in an earlier vid, it, 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 it's Whether past time for Philly to just blow it up. It, if you really look, all you'll find are people who you can get along with if you only try. That's why I want to bust it's open. It's time to just blow it up. Blow it sky high. Or destroy the bottle entirely. I'll find the right time to bring it up. Even if I talked about it now, it doesn't seem realistic, does it? First, we need to defeat the Empire and restore peace to... Huh? Yeah, okay. it, 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 it's just Why time to blow it up. I guess we'll have to cut our conversation yeah. short. What's going on, Leone? It's a small group, but some Imperial troops are headed this way. It looks like they were stationed nearby. I've got to hand it to Edelgard. Nothing gets past that woman. As long as we don't let our guard down, there's no way they can defeat us. This will be our first battle alongside the Knights of Seros. Let's kick off our new partnership with a magnificent victory. Though plans to resist the Empire are still mm. being devised by the Alliance Army, the Imperial mm. Army has already anticipated their next move. An Imperial vanguard just outside Garrick Mach, led by General Randolph, begins to advance with the aim of toppling the monastery once again. Hmm. 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 
Um. The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. So, hmm. the enemy intends to use their overwhelming numbers to defeat us. Let's fight fire with actual fire. Hmm. Report. The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Moth. If they reach the interior, the enemy will take the monastery. Drive them back immediately. Me in mm. Mm. I'm not going down. Yeah! Might makes right. <laughs> yep, I'm stronger now. I'm impressed. I will prevail. What's my strategy? I fight for justice's name. Ready and aim. At your service. Mm. Let's clean up. Let's go. I'll crush them all. Stay down. I won't hold back.
at the ready. There's no stopping. Wait, me. what just happened? Taking life doesn't phase me. Hmm. Wait. My ticket has updated me. I'm Last sorry. time I checked, Ohio State was up 19. What the hell, Buck? Battle flag is but isn't our enemy mm -hmm. the church of Saros? They didn't have enough soldiers with just the church, so they upped their numbers by joining with those mm -hmm. filthy rogues. It doesn't matter what flag they fly, they're nothing more than a mob. Mm -hmm. We'll destroy them all. Stay the course. Necessary sacrifice. Ugh, that's an embarrassment. yourself kit. I'm that much closer to my goal. Hmm. Allied soldiers are making preparations for the plan. Protect them. Mm. That's a win for everyone. Just trying to make the right moves here. I fight for Lady Rhea. Hmm. Thank you. 
sorry. Just as expected. Thanks. what I do. Feels good to fight for a cause. Invigorating. me back. I'm stronger. Hmm. A bit disappointing. <laughs> Fighting is what I do.
I fight for one reason and one alone. Mm. One of us had to die. Lady Rhea. Alright. Just let me at him. They say experience beats growth. I find strength to carry on. My 
makes threat. Another victory. Maybe this will help me keep steady. to you and slid it under your door one day, actually. I guess. This is for everyone's good. <sighs> okay, so I managed to do that and keep my turn. <sighs> and I completely forgot about that. My sister just asked for her phone, but I get back, so it's all good. It's all good. was a quick study. prepared for the fire attack. Now we just need to draw the enemy's attention. You can't defeat us with mm. that many soldiers? The Imperial Army is doomed without a capable general. Quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me. Attack! Make sure they never speak again! Hello, buddy. Now! Fire attack. The damage is too great. We can't fight anymore. All units retreat. I'll take on our pursuers. Carry away the injured soldiers. If we let them escape, they'll come back to attack later. We have to take them out.
I'll dirty my hands if I must. Stay the course. I don't expect forgiveness. their numbers breathtaking is what I do. me no alternative. This wouldn't have happened in my youth. A 
won't forget this. Turn home like this. Teach, look out! They're after your head! Necessary sacrifice. Growing stronger suits me. Feels good to fight for our cause. I'll grow as strong as I can. House for justice. I will not be defeated. Uh, no use. You are in my way. I'm only getting better with age. Those Imperial troops are really something. Looks like we'll face a lot of resistance in the future.
Okay, so that takes care of that. Huh. My, thank you so much. Phew, nice work. We won without much incident, thanks to all of you. Now the enemy knows we're on the move. What do you plan to do? I intend to ask the Alliance Lords to share some troops with us to bolster our forces. I will speak plainly. No matter whom we beseech for reinforcements, our envoys will inevitably pass through Gloucester territory. My father is being cautious not to give the Empire a pretext to intervene. Therefore, he is unlikely to allow even envoys to pass through. Ah, I guess I haven't told you yet, Teach. But the Kingdom isn't in a position to be sending anyone reinforcements. After losing King Lambert during the tragedy of Dusker, a regent had been handling its politics, but then, there was a bloody coup. The regent and Prince Dimitri both, apparently the whole family was killed. All bladed territory, including the kingdom capital, is being ruled by those who are cooperating with the Empire. The kingdom is no more. It's now called the Fargus Dukedom. The vast majority of the former kingdom lords bent a knee to the overwhelming power of the Empire and the Dukedom, and now fall under their jurisdiction. Some who formerly held power are continuing to resist, but it would be difficult for them to regain it. Oh, hey, I can think of one person who we can ask for reinforcements. Someone whose territory is really close hmm. and who's on good terms with Claude. Ah, the hero of Daphne, I presume. I've seen her before, and she does seem to be reliable. You're talking about Judith, right? I bet she would lend us a hand. That's right, you've met her once before, Teach. She's a fearsome one-woman army. She did a lot for me, even before I was recognized as the heir to House Regan. I don't like the idea of owing her more than I already do, but given the current situation, sacrifices must be made. I'll reach out to her. As for the rest of you, prepare for our next battle. Hey, Teach. How are you feeling? Does anything feel um, strange at all? <sighs> Good. I still vividly remember you suddenly collapsing and passing out after you went through those changes. Mm. But maybe that's not a concern now that you've spent five long years napping. Your command bringing my schemes to life. That's just how we fight mm. best. Not yet, but there's no need to worry. That woman adores me. Once we've bolstered our forces, it'll finally be time to start taking decisive action. But I wonder, do you really think Rhea is still alive? I think so too. It's hard to imagine the death of someone hmm. as important yeah. as her staying a secret. I wonder where she is and what she's doing. All I know is that I still have a lot of questions I need to ask her. About the true history of crest stones and heroes relics, and the truth behind the legend of Sarah. Hmm. And All right, so she has our so we too many of them for my so country. Far. Considering the state of the world, it's suspicious. You must be curious about what was done to you and what her plans were for you, hmm. right? And you never did learn about your mother, did you? None of our doubts will ever be cleared unless we hear these answers from Rhea herself. In that sense, I absolutely hope Rhea is still alive. But mm. as far as Fodlan goes, I do wonder what a world without Rhea would look like. The majority of people in Fodlan believe in the Saros faith that Rhea preaches. That's why they accept the noble system as if it were the only mm. option and refuse but to anyway, associate oh, Michigan's with those who believe in anything else. They almost else. choked. That was actually pretty that funny. That closed-minded philosophy is the reason why Fodlan's throat is locked tight. But if you remove the archbishop who strictly advocates that doctrine, that worldview is no longer an absolute. There's room for free thought. The leadership of the church would undoubtedly fall to you, and you would hold the power to change the shape of the faith, of the world. Mm. Then, for the first time, people would truly be free to think for themselves, to decide what's right and what's wrong. Honestly, I believe Edelgard is probably hoping to achieve something very similar. Mm. But her methods require too much bloodshed. That's not something the world can get behind. 
Anyway, the best thing we can do is find Rhea and hear what she has to say. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I guess I've been going on for a while now. Sorry about that. You should get some rest. Alright, so with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. See you next time, we're Fire Emblem Three Houses.